the US Navy officially maintains 11 aircraft carriers, which is a number that reflects how powerful its Navy is. As we know, aircraft carriers serve as floating air bases, carrying a large number of aircraft. But why are there only 11 aircraft carriers in the US Navy fleet? The statutory requirement for 11 carriers is codified in U.S. law, specifically Title 10 of the U.S. Code, which mandates a minimum of 11 operational aircraft carriers. This legal framework stems from post-Cold War assessments of U.S. global responsibilities, where carriers were deemed essential for power projection and maintaining maritime dominance. The number was reaffirmed after debates in Congress, balancing the high cost of building and maintaining carriers each costing around $13 billion to construct and billions more over their 50-year lifespan, against the strategic need for flexible mobile forces. The number 11 ensures the Navy can sustain at least three to four carriers deployed or ready to deploy at any given time. This operational tempo, often referred to as the rule of thirds, one-third deployed, one-third in maintenance, one-third in training, demands a robust fleet to meet global demands, such as supporting alliances, responding to crises, or deterring adversaries. The size of the fleet reflects the fact that not all carriers are present at the same time because of maintenance cycles, which can run 6 to 18 months for regular overhauls, or up to 4 years for nuclear refueling and complicated overhauls. Having 11 carriers allows the Navy to sustain a worldwide presence with credible capability while modernizing ships and training crews without creating gaps in coverage that might embolden potential enemies. Budget and industrial limitations also influence the 11 carrier number. A carrier requires approximately seven years to build, and only one U.S. shipyard, Newport News Shipbuilding, is capable of producing nuclear-powered carriers like the Nimitz and Ford-class ships. Suggestions to drop to nine or ten carriers, as discussed in the 1990s and 2000s, were rejected because of fears of reduced global influence and the potential for overworking crews and ships. In contrast, going beyond 11 is frequently considered too expensive since each additional carrier does not only need construction funding but also escorts, aircraft, and manpower. 